Okay, so in this problem, we're told a solar cooker, really a concave mirror pointed at the sun, focuses the sun's rays 18.8 centimeters in front of the mirror. What is the radius of the spherical surface from which the mirror was made? So as always, you always want to draw what's going on. So this right here is going to represent our solar cooker or our uh, mirror, basically. And we know it's going to point concave, right? It's a concave mirror pointed at the sun. So if we imagine our sun is over here, a concave means it's pointing at it like this. So in this circular shape where it's like eating the sun, you can imagine uh, if it was convex, it would be like this. But they tell us it's concave at the sun. So we know it's going to be shaped like this. And what we're trying to find here is the radius of the spherical surface from which the mirror was made. So the way I want you to think about this is as if this mirror was a circle. So we can imagine it like a circle here. And when they say the radius, uh, they're basically just talking about the radius of this circle. So if we let C represent the center of the circle, uh, R would just be the distance from C to this edge of the mirror here. And so this C represents uh, the center of curvature, that's what we call it. And uh, yeah, so basically R is the distance from the center of curvature to the lens here. And uh, this value F, F is called the focal length. And the focal length is equal to half of the radius. It's basically just halfway uh, in between. So that's where we set the focal length to be. And so the focal length is just half the radius since it's in the middle right here. And that basically tells us if I want to find the radius, which is the radius of the spherical surface or the radius of curvature, I can, um, if I want to solve for it, all I got to do is find the focal length since R equals 2F, right? If I just multiply both sides by two. So this tells me if I can find the focal length, I can go ahead and find R. So now what we need to find is R, or sorry, we need to find F. The way we find F is by using this formula right here, and what we, we call it the mirror equation. So the mirror equation is 1 over F is equal to D sub 0 plus D sub I. So F is your focal length. D sub 0 is the distance between the mirror and uh, the object that it's going to be, right, the object. In this case, it's the sun. So whatever your object is. D sub I is the distance between... Uh, the object, or sorry, the distance between the image created and, and the, and the uh, mirror. So wherever the image is created uh, it, to the mirror, that's going to go ahead and be your di. So we need d sub 0 and di. So 1 over f equals the distance from our object to our mirror. So we're assuming that this thing is on Earth, okay? And the, and the sun is going to be extremely far away. Uh, in terms of scale, it's basically infinite. So since it's so far away, you can just say it's equal to infinity. Relative to the image created, we know it's, it's infinite. It's basically so far away that it doesn't make a difference. So we know that. And then di, we know that's going to focus the sun's rays 18.8 centimeters in front of the mirror. So 18.8 centimeters in front is di. So the image created is what they're telling us there. They're telling us we're focusing these rays, uh, and that's your di, or the, the distance between the image and the lens. So we know di is 18.8. So the thing you should notice is 1 over infinity, if you treat it like a limit, it basically goes to 0. So this value is basically 0, telling us that the 1 over, uh, one over the focal length is just equal to 1 over 18.8. And so this tells you basically F is equal to 18.8 centimeters. So our focal length in this case is just equal to uh, DI, or the distance between the image and our mirror. So uh, yeah, so we know our F value, and then to find R, you would just multiply it by 2. So 18.8 times 2 is 37.6. Keep in mind our units are centimeters. So 37.6 centimeters, that's the distance, uh, right, the radius of our spherical surface or your radius of curvature. Uh, but yeah, so 
this is going to go ahead and be your answer. Uh, the main takeaway from this problem is uh, the mirror equation, understanding what DO, DI, and F are. And once you get that, relating R and F just by knowing that F is basically half of R, just half the distance. Um, and yeah, so a uh, pretty simple problem. But yeah, so 37.6 centimeters, that's going to go ahead and be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.